Today's video is a little bit different. Uh, normally we do an introduction video for a new car, but this is our latest purchase, a 2022 Bronco two-door. The whole purpose of this video is to showcase what the body appearance kit is. I want a body appearance kit. You need a body appearance kit. <laughs> All right, here it is, body appearance kit, right? It showcases it's a dealer installed option, $1,790. So I asked the delivery dealer not to install it simply because I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I just wanted to share with you guys what it looks like. We haven't pulled it out of the boxes. We haven't even seen it yet. Apparently it consists of moldings, flares, and a hood scoop. Is it worth it? Let's find out. What do you think of this color? Area 51, What is it considered gray? Blue? It's more of a blue. Purple, like a blue? Pastel blue. Pastel? You know? Not lavender? I don't know. My colors are not good as has That's right. been. You're colorblind, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. Oh, wow. It's big. Yeah. Here are all the fender flares. And I would imagine these are the moldings. Let's start with these lovely flares. Oh, these are wider. I can see right away. Yeah, these are definitely. Uh, yeah. Oh, these are nice, man. Yeah, but look how huge they are. They're massive. But aren't these for the, what is the wheel package called? Sasquatch? Well, I mean, that is a notably bigger flare. Mm -hmm. it it's nice. It has the weather there? stripping already attached. Right hand front fender. Okay. Dude, this is easily an inch and a half further out. That is a massively big flare. It would look so funny with these skinny little tires. Oh, yeah. You couldn't pull that off. You know? Yeah, this is... This basically goes here. I see it just pretty much sits in this ridge right here. Hey, but look at this. It also fits this car. <laughs> Actually, I think. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. These come off without even using a tool. You're a tool. Well, they make this pretty easy. Well, that's not cool if you're in the shopping mall parking lot. Someone sees your flare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm serious, man. I like these flares. I think I'm gonna take them. So not only is this a clip, it's actually a keyway on the flare and on the body provision that catches the clip. So as you remove it, you have to pull it at the same time. It's not just a twist pull. You have to turn and pull because it comes out like a thread. Tires and the way too. So I'm, yeah, like I'm jammed up. Uh, no, the whole thing came out. Well, yeah. And that's the case with all of them. Yeah, one out two. There's oh I yeah three not. stayed in there, but none of them broke. But they do need to come out, and then the new ones go in. Let's just get a feel for what these are going to look like. Want to grab that side? Yeah, I'll grab the front. I'll grab the back. They're massive. Actually, it goes more like this. Yes. Before you install these, you have to really give some serious thought about how big of a tire you're gonna install on this thing. And maybe even a wheel, a different offset wheel, because this is gonna look funny. Like I said, that's gotta be an inch and a half wider, yeah. which is yeah. nice. I mean, it gives you provisions for some- Hold it up, so I'm gonna take a look at it. Wide oh. tires, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanna yeah. hold back a little bit and mm -hmm. see what it looks like. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. Right, right, you can really see the profile against the back one now. I'm not feeling these flares at all, especially with these wheels and tires. Well, no, but if you had appropriate set of wheels and tires, you'd probably love this look. I think you're right, though. I mean, obviously, you know, with the wheels and tires that are on it now, you certainly don't oh, want no. to put these flares on here. No way. These are hella sunk. Before we go and put all these flares on, seriously, I'm not going to drive this thing around with these skinny little tires and wheels on it and these massive flares. So for now, I think what we're going to do is hold off on installing these. The Sasquatch package flare, I actually like a little better. It's not as big. Still big, but not as big as this. This is extra big. And I'm not so sure that this, is this a Ford product? I'm wondering if this is part of another package. It's got Ford part numbers. It does have Ford part numbers on it, doesn't it? But you know what here? It does have a different brand on it. Yeah, these are not from- They're not. These are not Ford products. That's interesting. So is the appearance package a dealer package? It is, it's a dealer installed package. So no wonder. When these come from the factory, they don't have any of this stuff on. It's the dealer that has to do all the installation. The amount of money that you're gonna have to spend on a wheel package and a tire package, you, you have to do that. No one's gonna drive this thing around with that flare on it 
in these skinny little tires and wheels on it. There's just no way. Then it, let's be the first. <laughs> it's, it's awful looking. Yeah, but you don't um, have to worry about mud flinging. Well, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> right? You, you know, will never get mud on your body. <laughs> but I mean, my God, look at it. It's really ridiculous. Be mindful of this, guys. If you're ordering a new Bronco and you see the body appearance kit, just know, unless you don't care about this look, you're gonna have to spend some serious money on new wheels and tires to make these look like they belong on this car. Let's look at the rest of this stuff. All right, so here are your door moldings. And now these are just basically a glue on item. Of course, we have a two door Bronco. The four door Bronco comes with four of these. They're trying to protect the panels. They're trying to make some oversized tires look appropriate on there, right? Because this I wouldn't suppose. that be for, right? This is a right hand side. So this is the right hand side. And I guess this just gets glued on here. I mean, I get what this is. This is basically a, a door ding protector. Does it look kind of weird? It doesn't look terrible. Last but not least, let's look at the hood scoop because that's what's next. Oh, this comes with glue. So actually you have to glue this on. It comes with a, a 3M polyurethane adhesive sealant. Okay, so voila, that is your hood scoop. So is that like found in the AutoZone accessory aisle? Think about this for a minute. Yeah. 1800 bucks mm -hmm. buys you stuff you have to use double adhesive tape and, and sealant. And it's all for looks. Yeah, I mean, this, you know, it's, it's really overly clad at that point. You've got this going on, which I guess goes here. I get it though. Look, it ties into the cow. It ties into the side view mirror arms. Right? I mean, that's not terrible. It's non-functional. It's purely for looks at that point. If you wanted this look, you could literally have a satin black wrap just put over this. Oh. To give it that kind of look. That's nice. Which is a lot. I mean, yeah, it won't have the textured finish and the designs that this, again, it's just solely for looks. These aren't vented in any way. These flares are so far off the body, it comes with a host of reinforcement metal that adds uh, structure see. to the flares. Wow, yeah, that stuff it's a in. lot. You know, if you don't want to spend the money and upgrade your wheel and tire package, you can always take these off and have them painted in a black to match that. Do you like this? I mean, is it worth 1800 bucks? Uh, the flares are worth something because it probably took a lot of time to make these fit and it comes with all the reinforcements, yeah, no, they're which well is made. nice. They're well made. For if sure. I wanted some hugely off-road type of wheel, I think these would be appropriate, but for like a mall crawl type of Bronco, this is overkill. Yeah, I'm just yeah. not feeling the size. I mean, you're just gonna have to put such a massively big wheel and tire on this. I think at that point, you're gonna wanna lift it up a little bit. Well, yeah. For the dealers to be marketing this as an appearance kit, I think is not cool. Yeah, yeah. I agree. If you're gonna do this, you might as well pick out bigger wheels and tires. <laughs> and, and I'm not so sure that the largest wheel and tire that's available from Ford is gonna even fill these fender flares in all the way. Just be mindful of the fact that if you order this package, this is what you're gonna get because very little effort was made by Ford to show what this kit consisted of. When I saw this option, I thought, oh, you know, 1,790 bucks, 1,800 bucks is a lot of money. It's probably a really decent appearance kit. Mm. Just think of all the people that have this installed at the dealership, right? And then they go to get their vehicle delivery on that fateful day, right? And they're like, hey, the wheels are too small. What the heck is going on here? If I had a chance to do it over again, I wouldn't have, I would have saved the 1800 bucks. And you know, something else, I ordered this truck with these running boards. They referred to it as a tubular running board. And Somebody made a mistake. I don't think that's a really good description. Right there, yeah, tube, tube step, step, powder coated. That's not a tube step. That's weird. So this is gonna wrap up today's video. Thanks so much for tuning in and you know, please, uh, help us out and give us a thumbs up if you like what you see. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Tell us what you think. Would you have bought it knowing what you know now? Love to hear from you guys. Thanks for tuning in.